Short Park a little overzealous here Adam getting hard on the four check and there will be a penalty coming up to the Crusaders in moments so not the start for Short Park as Drayton Valley and Jordan Topert bring inside the Crusaders zone at the point to Masco Wines fires here's a chance and a goal Brett Smythe on the rebound and just like that the Thunder lead 1-0 a horrible start for the Crusaders here as a delayed penalty was coming to the Crusaders by Zablock you got to stick on that one just didn't get it on Mason three Crusaders trying to get the puck free on the right side Cooper gets it up to Toronto he'll walk the line Back for Gordon. Arthur Gordon. Face off circle and he'll score! The team's leading goal scorer puts it 5-0 on Garrett Mason. It's Gordon's 17th of the year. And the Crusaders tie things up at 1. We're not even 3 minutes in this hockey game, Adam, and we've seen 2 goals. Puck in the corner. He'll be rimmed around to the left side of the Crusaders. Toronto. Trying to pop it up the wall. Robert Kane all over Toronto. Gregor in the mix as well. Pitching up there is Wachowicz. And he roosts it past Klassen. And the Thunder regain the lead. It is now 2-1 with 9.46 to go. It'll be Wachowicz's second goal of the season. over the Canucks. No score in white court between the Bobcats and the Wolverines. And right off the draw, goal! Arthur Gordon is second of the game. We've seen this a lot this year. A nice set play by the Crusaders. And Arthur Gordon buries it. His 18th of the season. And just like that, the Crusaders have tied things up. And so a standing up Liam Gregor there. Those two had some words earlier on in the first period, kind of reacquainting themselves, and now Ben so making sure Liam Gregor remembers them. Zablocki up to the point. Here's Bold Wines. Fires. Puck bouncing around, and Zablocki pots it home. Lane Zablocki finding that loose puck after the shot from Bowden from the point. And Zablocki has his 11th on the season. It's 3-2 Sherwood Park. Crusaders win the draw. Van Oss, he'll play it in. Gammer in pursuit. Mason will play it. Rims it up the left side. Van Oss gives him Van a bump and a shot and a goal! Chris McKay with a shot! Cole Gammer with the redirection in front and the Crusaders have a two goal lead with 9.04 remaining in the second period. Really, it's those point shots and the Crusaders really need to take advantage of that and you can see getting guys towards the net and getting those low shots are, are being advantageous for them so far here in the second period. They just need to continue it. Thunder try to respond. Here's Klassen. Can make the save on Matt McNeil. His second attempt. What is going on in this second period? Taylor? And after the goaltending change, as Adam mentioned, Mark Olivier Dig in net in place of Garrett Mason. It's Matt McNeil picking up his sixth of the year. It'll be his eighth point. Thunder back within one now. Close. He'll lead the rush here. Five across as the Thunder break out the puck into the offensive zone. Poirier for close. Banco back for close. Quick shot. High. And missed on the blocker's side. Thunder regain control here. Close walks the line. Winds. Fires. And scores. Brody close. Unless it got redirected. It looked like it did, Taylor. And Zach Clausen couldn't see a thing off of that play. Well, Poirier leads the flyby on the bench. Nonetheless, the Thunder have a power play goal. And 
slowing things down a bit as both these teams really want to try and trade trade chances and go run and gun here in this third period to try and get that that extra goal and get those extra two points. Here's Ryer Titsky, he'll get the goal. Gets the feed in front from Daniel Ray. And Ortinski has his second point of the night. And it will be his fifth goal of the season. And the Crusaders lead this one 5-4. Ryan Cooper through the middle. He'll throw it in. Picking it up there is Benko. And the Thunder will come away with it. There goes Daig to the bench. Three on three here for the Thunder. Now Pollard. They're close throwing it in front. Here's a chance. And Smythe. He'll score. Brett Smythe has tied things up shorthanded. It goes off the post and off Klassen and in. Gammer out there as the Crusaders win the draw. We saw overtime on Friday against Grand Prairie. Now here's Zablocki at the blue line. He'll come in. High slot. Zablocki still with it. Goes to the backhand. He will score! Crusaders win it in overtime. 6-5. to five. Incredible goal. Incredible game winner by Lane Zablocki. 